There's already talk a second Donald Trump presidency comes with uncertainty for the millions of dreamers in the U.S. ABC 10 News reporter Danny Miskell spoke to a student who is concerned about what the future looks like for his friends and family. Uh, I have friends who were scared coming to campus for the um, first couple of classes because they don't know if checkpoints will be open. They don't know if these policies are going to be start going in place immediately. This was a very different morning for Juan Sanchez coming to school at Cal State San Marcos. He tells me the election results are making him feel just the wave of sadness. You know, I have a lot of family, friends and people I really care about that are going to be really affected. Juan says he's comfortable sharing that he's a mixed status student. So mixed status students are just students such as myself who have have family members who are undocumented. Because of his status, he's been fully plugged in to the university's Dreamers Resource Office. It's really providing a safe environment for our students. Viri Diana Diaz is the Vice President of Student Affairs. She tells me the campus has undocumented students enrolled from around the world. It's why the university created the Dreamers Resource Office. It helps students with free legal advice, assistance with applying for private scholarships, counseling, and more. Our undocumented students have always have to live in fear. You know, they're not really able to plan the way that most 18 to 25 year olds are planning the future in terms of what they want to do three years from now, five years from now, because they don't really know what the future holds for them. Diaz tells me post election, the resource office will focus on helping students like Juan feel supported. This might not be affecting me personally, but it's affecting people that I really love. In San Marcos, Danny Miskell, ABC 10 News. The DACA program has been in a six-year legal challenge. President Trump and other Republicans have attempted to terminate DACA, arguing that money and resources are going toward those who don't have legal status. And since it began 12 years ago, DACA has allowed undocumented eligible young adults who came to the U.S. as children to work and to go to school without fear of deportation.